How's it going everybody? This is Ruby and welcome back to my modded Minecraft machine tutorial series. Today we're going to be taking a look at the enrichment chamber from Mechanism. So this machine is basically like the pulverizer or the macerator uh, from you know thermal expansion or industrial craft. The user interface we'll go over real quick is pretty pretty simple. They make it, they make it pretty easy. Starting off over here on the right is you have your upgrade slot and this is where you can put in an upgrade like that and you get a little progress bar and then you'll see it upgrade and then you can click it to remove it and anything like that is same for the speed it'll go down in there now of course as you increase the speed it's going to take more energy so keep that in mind this progress bar here is where you can see the recipes and the progress of the uh, block being enriched uh, this blue slot right here is your output this slots right here to charge the machine and then right here is your uh, your subject to be enriched this configuration tab is pretty cool and you can set it to auto eject or strict input any of that kind of fun stuff and you can set whether or not it inputs from the top or outputs from the side all that fun stuff so let's go ahead and take a look at the building recipe for this it's going to be two basic control panels which is just osmium and redstone in a metallurgic infuser uh, four redstone two iron and a steel casing which is just four steel and a piece of osmium to power this machine, you just need basically any kind of power. Uh, as you can see, this chart over here is in kilojoules. So here I just have an energy cube with a basic user uh, universal cable hooked up to it. You could also hook a uh, power generator straight up to this, like a windmill or even a solar generator if you wanted. To automate this machine, it's really, really, really simple considering all the configuration that you have here. So you'll want to make sure that your dark red is set to the top or whatever you want to uh, input stuff from. So to power this, I just got the same thing. I just got a, a energy cube with some basic use, uh, universal cables coming over here. And you can put it in using a hopper. You can also use logistical transporters with chests. So if I just grab some ores real quick. And we can put some in here. And we can put some in there. And you'll see that both of them will deliver it down in there pretty easy. And this way you can use a logistical transporter. And you'll just need a configurator and shift right click right there. On the very edge of it and it set it to pull and it'll automatically output items out of there. And this is going to be useful if you have an array of enrichment chambers or anything like that. And you'll get iron dust in the end result and this you can just sit you can just set in a basic factory or an energized smelter or any other kind of furnace uh, block in modded Minecraft and it'll turn that into an iron ingot for you. That is going to be it for this tutorial. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention was actually the redstone controls down here. So this is how you can set whether or not the machine is going to respond to redstone and if the machine's on or off and so forth. And the gunpowder just means it's disabled. So if you have any questions about this machine, feel free to leave it down in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer your question. If this video helped you out or if you enjoyed it, feel free to leave a rating and subscribe. As always, I have new modded Minecraft videos coming out almost every other day, if not every day. Thank you.